His name was Mauritz Cornelis Escher, but most people know him simply by his last name. He is considered one of the world's most famous graphic artists. His work about fantasy, mathematical shapes, and playing with our perceptions. He died in 1972, but the precise sketches and designs by the Dutch-born innovator are still considered by the scientific community as remarkable, something more than just pencil on paper art. His, his works look actually very modern. It's very hard to believe that this is pre-computers, pre-digital age. They're very modern looking. And it's also, there's that math, science, engineering part of the brain that intersects here with art. So it appeals to such a wide range of people. The largest collection of Escher's art for the first time on display in the United States. More than 200 works shown at the Industry City Complex in Brooklyn, New York, an exhibition that is also an experience. This is an exhibit that very much welcomes the visitor to reflect on Escher's reality-altering concepts, an exhibit very much for the Instagram generation. Hashtag Escher NYC, and it's clear the fun that visitors are having with the interactive part of this exhibit. It's not the type of exhibition where you're just walking around. You're actually experiencing it. You're putting yourself a little bit into Escher's world and getting sort of a glimpse of what his, how his mind worked. But even for the younger generations that didn't know Escher by name, his art concepts can be found in popular culture, from album covers to advertising, ah! and also featured in The Simpsons. For an artist who was way ahead of his time, who had an eye for the unusual that is still appreciated today. Gabriel Osando, Al Jazeera, New York.